you don't know the wealth that God has put in the female gender. Women naturally are seers. And when a woman begins to travel, her propensities in the spirit cannot be matched. Cannot be matched. That's why when a whole nation is in darkness and God wants to pioneer a new move, many times it goes to women. The woman told her husband, an angel of the Lord came to me. An angel of the Lord came to me. The husband was shocked. An angel came to you? He said, yes. And he said, we'll be with child. I shouldn't take any strong drink. And no razor should come on his head. Okay, we thank God. And then the next time the angel came again. I wonder why the angel never went to the man. The woman now went to call the husband. Most of you will begin to bring your families into encounters. You will bring your sons into encounters. You will bring territories into encounters. Because you will become an ascended reality. The world has many preachers. The world has many ministries. But there are few watchers. There are few people that can bring us the verdict of heaven. There are few people that can bring us the testimonies of Abba. Because sometimes we are too busy with ministry. Sometimes we are too busy with things that we neglect the altar. Most of you that are looked down upon and they think you are just good enough for a housewife. There is a dimension of glory about to break out through your life. Because you will walk in ascension. You will walk in dimension beyond your learning and beyond your education. You will walk in dimension beyond the encouragement or the discouragements that you suffer. Society makes it look as if women should not be at the front, for, forefront because of the degree of our illiteracy. Culture, tradition, and customs pioneered by demonic spirits have put and negated women and put them behind. But women are rising by the spirit that powers that were born out of ancestry and powers that were born out of human decline in understanding of the purposes of God cannot stop because most of you will begin to function in ascended realities. Number three, when you begin to pray, you will enter the realm of stillness. The realm of stillness is where you are truly empowered. In Exodus 14, it says, be still and you will know the salvation of God. You will come to a point where your words will not just be many. But when you speak, you are legislating the purposes of God. You will come to a point where your spirit will be so gathered that when God wants to trust out, he will begin to speak through you. Because you have come to a place where you can wield your scepter. Can I tell you something? Too many men have served God. So there is a competition in the spirit for men. But there are few women that have done the biddings of God's spirit. When you are calling or studying church history, they are just a handful. And so there is a lot of vacuum for you to step into something. There are lots of mantles awaiting you in the spirit. There are lots of graces awaiting you in the spirit. It's in stillness that you will know. And when you come to that realm of knowing, your walls will become a weapon. Your hands will become a weapon. Your thought will become a weapon. And the glory of God will naturally flow through you. Because women, again, will receive their dead back to life. There are realms of prayer that we need to get into. We need to journey into stamina. We need to journey into ascension. We need to journey into stillness. Because there are many things depending on you to be carried out. You don't just come for a place or a prayer meeting like this just to be prayed for. You came for a prayer meeting like this to be awoken to the realities that God has put on your inside. There are most of you that have seen great visions. Before you got married, God showed you many visions. But when you got married, you became clogged with family affair. Today, God wants to take you back to that place where you were that as a single lady 
visions of God came to you. Angels ministered to you. But family matters. Troubles in homes have made you to lose it. God is restoring you back there. There are most of you here that God has given you exceeding great and precious promises. You saw them. You knew them. You believed them. But when you start giving birth to children, you became distracted. There is an awakening about to take place for you. The things God showed you, family will not stop it. Family will only fuel it so that it can become greater in the name of Jesus. There are most of you here that God has promised that through you, he will activate dimensions. You told your friends, you preached it, but few years ago, a crisis came and those things looked as if they are not possible anymore. As we pray now, your eyes will begin to open and the things God promised you in the secret place, you will begin to see them happen again. The anointings you felt in the past, you will begin to feel those anointings again. The angels that visited you in the past, they will begin to visit you again. The dimensions of God that you